Yo, I'm Dapper Inez, dropping another review on y'all. And this time, what we're going to be doing a review of is the BAM. Now, I done told you before that I was going to be doing a review on this. Where I just hooked up the Samsung Connect Home. Got all three routers set up. And now, for in here, because I have so many peripherals, I had to bust out that 8 port gigabit green net switch on them by TrendNet. So this is the review, TreadNet 8 port gigabit green net switch. Now, the thing about this bad boy is that it's energy efficient. Now, there's a lot of switches <clears throat> that do a lot of things, but I mean, I, anybody who knows anything about networking, a uh, switch is basically, it does what a, a router does without the Wi-Fi built in. That's all a switch is. A switch is a router without the Wi-Fi. Um, you plug in all your peripherals, your network peripherals, and then um, it it uh, signs the um, the IP addresses, uh, MAC addresses, all that stuff, so that way um, it can uh, get gain access to the internet. Your um, Wi-Fi router that you get from the uh, from the cable company, you know, or internet service provider, um, all it is is a GigaNet switch with Wi-Fi built in. You know, the best way to explain it. So, um, because I already have a router that only has one port on the back to hook plug in one thing. I'm gonna plug that one thing into this eight port gigabit switch and now I have I'm gonna I'll have seven more ports because there's eight ports total but I have to use one to bring the internet in so therefore it's taking up one of the spots uh so it'll leave me with seven things to plug into it. So um let's get into that. This is the front of your box right here. Bam as you see plug and play that's what I like Gigabit ports, now what it means by gigabit ports for the lay person, that's 1,000 megabits per second, all right? Uh, most internet uh, service providers don't even uh, pro uh, have internet that's up to that speed. They're just now starting to get it. You have your Google Fiber. You have uh, the new uh, Fios Fiber that's coming out and uh, open, uh, coming out uh, slowly in different uh, areas. Out in the Midwest, you have a couple of places. You have your AT&T Fiber. Um, those just to name a few um, that already have gigabit speeds, but uh, even if, even though they promise you gigabit speeds, that speed you never really actually obtain. So it's just all in name. So this getting a gigabit port is for when they actually do have networking that actually gets you that speed. You're already future proof. So all right. So on this side you have your barcode, and uh, like everything else, made in China. You have your contact information should you need to get in contact with them somehow. Boom, right there. You got your some uh, your another address, some FCC crap. On this side, you got some more. You know, got the name and the model number, the TEG S81G. That's Tango Echo Golf Dash Sierra 81 Golf. Down there tells you 21 24 7 tech support. See, I like that right on the box. Three year limited warranty right on the box. No guessing. Other side, some um, some features there. You can read that yourself. And your package contents, nice and simple. And then on the back, a lot more stuff. You can read all that yourself, bam. Bam, okay. Let's get right into it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do I have in reach? Uh, I got an exacto knife in reach, so I'm just going to use that. I don't feel like reaching for one of my freaking knives. All right. Nice, simple to the point. Got a power brick for power. Bam. And you have your network switch. Now, I'm not gonna take this stuff off. I like to leave the plastic on that keeps the products like new in case I wanna, you know, give it to a family member when I decide to upgrade to a bigger, better model. Cause I always do that. But um, that's what the top of it looks like. Imagine it without the plastic. Side, you got side vents. On the sides, the back, there goes your eight ports and your power input there. The front, you got your little LED spots for all eight ports. Gigabit switch and the model number. 
by uh, TrendNet, and then your power indicator, that's your power LED light. On the bottom, you got more heat vents and your model number and, you know, serial number, all the other crap. All that stuff's underneath. And you have little holes there so you can mount it on the wall, which may, I may or may not do, not sure. We're gonna find out. All right, so um, <clears throat> other than that, you just plug it up <clears throat> and then it starts working and then you plug stuff into it. Really not much else to show you on this. It's um, it's a router without Wi-Fi, so we all we all have Wi-Fi of some sort of it in our house, I'm sure, so we all know how that works. So I just wanted to show you this, but the main thing that I, uh, just real quick before I sign off, the main thing I like about this is that the, um, it has, it's a green net switch. So basically what this is doing is it uh, reduces, it significantly reduces the power. So what it does is it provides trickle power to the ports until it detects that it's actually need, uh, it detects that it's actually being used. So when you have items that are plugged into it that is listed, that are listed as dormant, like your PlayStation that's turned off, or if you have a TV or something that's turned off, it's going to give trickle power to it, just enough power to keep it on, but not enough power that it takes to completely run um, the particular port. So therefore, it reduces the amount of power that it's using, that's consuming. And uh, therefore, and uh, it also monitors how much power. So if you're using going at data speeds and you and it realizes that it only needs half power in order to function, it only sends half power. But um, it will surely send full power to it if necessary, if it deems necessary. Not that if it deems necessary is when it's required. It'll send full power to it, so that way you can get full performance. So you get all the uh, power saving without uh, sacrificing any performance, because it'll uh, when when you uh, when performance. Is necessary it will definitely provide enough power to do so so that's what i like about this you know if it could save me a couple cents here and there the many things i got plugged up in my cave i need to save where i can and uh this should help me save maybe a couple bucks you know a year but uh if i save a couple bucks here a couple bucks there it all adds up eventually right so with that being said this has uh, been the official review of the trend net eight port gigabit green net switch i'm that and i'm out this piece